Also, everyone, today we're going to talk about Headspace and how I've been using it for the past one and a half years. You're going to see my extensive review of the app and service and how I'm using it. So I'm actually on a yearly subscription for around 40 bucks, which is available every January at the start of the year, and you can save a lot of money by doing that. So the essential piece here is the Headspace app. I've been using the website quite a bit at work whenever I had the opportunity to do so, but I would say about 90% of time I spent in the app. And here's the overview, I'm going to show you the screen in the video. You get your starting page, home page, which has everyday headspace, which I've been using a lot. Um, recommendations, my courses, so single courses or packs of meditations I've actually been doing. And then also my recent meditations. And I'm spending a lot of time in 10 meditation courses because I don't have the patience and endurance to go through 20 or 30 most of the time and I don't want to spend that much time with a certain topic. I'd rather do more of them. Then there's an exploration page which has been redesigned in the past. It's been quite a hassle to get to find anything because they kind of restructured it, have new categories. You can search for them but it has been hard for me to find them. I liked the design way better last year. But that said, there's a lot and a lot of content. You should start with basics, which have a lot of 30 episode courses. So it's really more than enough content. That's nothing to be afraid of. And then there's stuff like personal growth, which has been quite interesting. Relationships, self-esteem, kindness, happiness, acceptance, balance, appreciation. And these all contain several meditations. This one 10, for example. Then a favorite of mine, which has been a game changer for me, is Sleep by Headspace. I'm using that a lot. Sleep casts, sleep sounds, wind downs. I'll talk more about this later. My total time meditated is 50 hours in total right now, 393 sessions. I try to do it daily, but sometimes I just, I'm not up for it or I'm on vacation or I just don't feel like it. So next section of the review is going to be person favorites and how I'm using it. So as I said, I'm usually using it at night and using everyday headspace because it gives you the option of just having a three minute meditation, which is actually around five minutes. They just say it's three minutes. And that has a piece of wisdom, which is different every day because what I've found in headspace is that it is quite repetitive. There's always something at the beginning, a message of around one minute. When they talk about something new and then it's always the same technique. It's like going to the gym, working out, you're always going to do the same thing and over time you're going to build up awareness. So everyday headspace is kind of like a YouTube vlog in the sense that it gives you new content every day. It doesn't have to be much but I feel like that is one of the most interesting things in headspace. Awareness is clarity. And clarity is light. When we rest in awareness, we see more clearly. Now, if you want to commit to a certain topic, I would choose a course or a pack like Restlessness, XMBA. But most of the time before going to sleep, I like to listen to sleep casts, which are like good night stories combined with meditation. And they always take you to a certain place, which is quite interesting. It helps you grow your imagination. They're really tailored to being listened to. At night there's some background noise, sometimes there's no one talking, sometimes they tell you a story. And it should be a little bit different every time you listen to the same episodes. So if you listen to Midnight Laundry twice in a row, it should be slightly different second time, third time, and fourth time. Hello there. I'm so glad you could join us tonight as we pay a visit to the Indigo Gallery. Another cool thing is Sleep Sounds, which is pretty much ambient noise and not really meditation but it helps you fall asleep just like wind downs which is more a more of a guided meditation for example they tell you to shut off every body part so you start with your feet and shut off every muscle in your body Tonight's up to your face down. and nose and, visualization. and that really helps you fall asleep so in my opinion the meditations feel quite repetitive i didn't expect it to be the case that much because there's a lot of reuse elements basically they always have a one minute section at the beginning which is new and then it's the same exercises all over again for the last nine minutes of the 10 minute meditation. So in conclusion you're going to do the same things over and over again. They're just slightly different every day. Just get a bit of knowledge here and there which is very very interesting. It has helped me 
to get to know myself better, distance myself from my thoughts and kind of see what's going on with you from the outside. For example, if you're feeling angry, you kind of understand why you're feeling angry and that it doesn't really make sense or it does make sense but you choose not to feel angry anymore. And that has been very, very helpful but from the service itself, that's what you'd expect. So in my opinion, I hadn't had any trouble to spend 40 bucks on this since I've seen it as an investment into myself. And you get a little piece of knowledge every day and reconnect with the world in your mind in a different way. So my recommendation is to try it out for one month, see how you like it. I think it's a pretty advanced service and app. They keep adding new features. The look and feel is amazing. Um, that's the reason why it's one of the most famous meditation apps out there, probably the number one. Anyways, that's been it for this review. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. I could talk about this for so much longer than I did in this video. If what you've heard has been helpful, please leave the video a like down below. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.